<laughs> this is just so much for me to handle. <laughs> so um, it was funny. Someone asked if there was any pranks during the film. This wasn't during the film, but uh, so just before we started filming, uh, Julia and I had worked really hard on the first week. Like, we'd really focused just on that. Uh, we'd had a few days together leading up. Uh, we were working really hard. Anyway, so I, I came to a, a session that he was having with Thomas, the dialect coach. He turns to me and says, they've changed the whole week. The whole schedule has changed. You're going to have to learn everything new. And I was just like, okay. I can do this. And then I looked at him and I was like, you shit. <laughs> So he did that to me a lot, mm -hmm. just like trying to mess with me, seeing if he could get a reaction. So I learned not to react. But he was um, he was quite the jokester in general. He actually had to have a <clears throat> a secret word on set, <clears throat> um, a secret word on set for us to know if we were supposed to take him seriously, because he would say all these things. And you're like that that yes that. that's quite terrifying if that's actually like we're doing what and, and everything and then he'd be like ha ha got you <laughs> every time and then i'm like i'm not sure if you're actually being honest right now is this is this truthfully how you feel and then he'd be like no gotcha and then but it's like always just waiting for him to say the secret word i know but sometimes he would say the secret word and yeah. he would still be just he occasionally he abused the secret word. I don't believe him on the secret word. Also, I don't believe him at all anymore. Now I'm just like, everything you say is a joke, Julio. Everything. Everything. I don't. If you really are serious, you'd take me aside. <laughs> like, I'm very serious, Tosca. I'm like, I don't believe you. I can't believe you. I just don't believe you. I'm very serious, Tosca. No, I don't believe you. I still don't believe you. <laughs> it's like, it he, he is he is definitely the boy that cried wolf so there's just there's just it's too bad for him now at this point it's just like mm -mm. um what else do we have to say um the scene that we're most excited for fans to see i think i'm gonna say in the first part the scene. well Tos tosca knows tosca knows better because she's seen the the edit yes i i find it really hard to gauge because I'm inside it, yeah. and it happens, and, and you're in the being of it, yeah. and then I, I it, it's hard to gauge from the outside, which I think is good. I don't think you yeah. want to be sitting out looking at the scene, yeah. you want to be inside it. So yeah. what do you think, Oscar? The scene that we're most, I'm most excited for fans to see, um, you know, there's so many beautiful ones. Oh, um, how about when Gabriel first asks Julia to join him for dinner, and then the Ooh. just and then just getting into the car? I mean, you've seen a little bit of that in the trailer or the teaser. Um, that was very good. Um, another great one, you know. Um, you know, when Gabriel is picking the glass from your hand in the bathroom. Ooh. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> um, and um, but that bit was, oh, it was one of those end of the day, mm -hmm. you know, oh, lovely. big day one. Oh, um, and it's all one shot. It's all one shot, so we didn't cut into it. It's just one shot. Um, and then, uh, and so these these ones are really, and they're really beautiful moments for me because I remember them from the book. And so when I remember them from the book and then they actually turned out to be exactly as, as I pictured them in the book, which is so rare, right? As a filmmaker and, and somebody who um, it, it adapts books to screen, I sit there and I'm like, okay, keep in mind it's never going to be exactly as you picture it it's never going to be exactly as you picture it and it is and and so many of these scenes are exactly as i pictured it and i was like wow that's kind of crazy it's a little it's a little like um it's a little weird like the for, like when um julia leaves the note in the door for emerson at the beginning like how did i that was like a moment that i pictured in my head and then it was there and his anguish look and um 
so anyway, so I think that there are there are so many in this first part that I'm very excited for people to see. And the, and I I love this. The this was just Tracy just did the most insanely good job. Insanely um, good. The level of detail, like in in Julia's room, for example. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. It, it it's incredible. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You guys are really like it. Yeah, the production design is amazing, absolutely amazing. And and um, so when you guys see this movie, we built almost everything from scratch in this movie, just to be exactly as we could picture it in the book. And then every time we built anything, we would send it to SR and go, "Does this look like how you pictured it?" And they would say, "Yes, this looks just like how we pictured it." And it was amazing. To, to know we were that much on the same page. So, um, what's, you know, we looking forward to in Rapture? Oh, so, uh, well, we've filmed a lot of Rapture already. Um, uh, what I guess what I'm looking forward to for Rapture is filming the Italy portion that we never filmed because it takes place in Italy and for a very good reason, we're not there. Yeah, so there's that. Um, so those, but there are some really incredible. Of course, the wedding and um, and uh, um, we filmed some of the. I mean, some of those parts. Um, oh, you froze. Oh, Melanie's gone. Oh, did we lose her? Is she going to be able to come back? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, podcast with Julia and Melanie. That's a great idea. Let's see. Ah, we're back. Hooray. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I think there's so many, but I, I have to say that the um, what we filmed already in Rapture is so amazing. And the, you know, we, we obviously, as some people know, we've shot the, where the two of you break up and... I mean, it was so oh, heartbreaking guys. to watch um, to watch that being performed by you and Julio. Um, uh, like as a as a as a fan and as a filmmaker, I'm watching it, and I remember after watching it, and we're all like, I was crying during your performance, and then I came out of that and I was like, I have got to direct a comedy. <laughs> I was like, I need to, I need to direct something funny. I need a moment. It is so intense, but the right amount of tense, like intensity. So it's like, so yeah, Rapture is amazing. And um, of course, that's, that's halfway in the can and almost halfway through the can and, and in the can. And, um, and hopefully we'll get to film the rest of it this year. That is, that is our goal. So that's our goal. That's our goal. Um, but so I guess just before we sign off here, we've been on for for nearly an hour. What's Julio's favorite quality? What's Julio's best quality? Somebody said greatest quality. What's Julio's best quality? Oh, he, look, for me, it's that he's so funny and so much fun, yeah. but also so smart and kind and sensitive. The combination of those two. Yeah. Oh, we cut off again human we, you cut off from the combination and then delightful human oh the combination of being uh really funny and fun but also really intelligent and kind and sensitive makes yeah. for a really delightful human yeah he is amazing and, and you know what i um i am a strong believer that his mother had a lot of uh, played a, a strong role in in that for him um i think we lost melanie again unfortunately hopefully she can hear me She's coming on. Um, his mom. I was just talking about his mom, Melanie, oh. and how amazing his mother I is. And I think that love. Yeah, and his mother was with us actually for the first couple of weeks of filming, and um, and she's like she's like a super cool, very sexy, strong woman. I believe she's a former judge in Italy, and like just like super smart. But so there for her son as well, and you could just and see how that, yeah, so kind, so encouraging, and you you can see how she has so helped mold the person he became, and 
Oh my gosh, I'm in love with her. She's so wonderful. Yeah. Did I just see that Sylvan Renard joined us? Sylvan? Really? SR is here? Yes! Hi, SR. Hey, SR. This is exciting. I oh, know. Now I feel nervous. <laughs> Um, no, but it's, uh, but yeah, so Julio is, um, for me also one of those, um, incredibly dedicated, beautiful human beings. That's just such a pleasure to work with. And he takes things, um, he takes the, the work very seriously. Um, he has such a high respect for the work as well. And, um, and a, a genuine respect for women which I also really appreciate because it that's very important in especially in the world that we are working in um, when it comes to romance novels you don't want to have somebody not not have respect for women and the romance novel world and, and he really does um, and he's kind and sensitive and smart and I appreciate that so much like you you are a very kind very sensitive very smart person going off my head so thank you um all the compliments in the world um well i don't know if there's anything else that we can answer for everyone um but um i'm really grateful for everyone joining us today and um thank nice you time. thank you melanie so nice to see you i've missed you Ooh, i've missed you too and hopefully we'll be, get to see you very very soon um and film the rest of this movie and 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 I'm like, I'm looking over here, there's my calendar that was that was full, like full for the entire year. We had like Rapture and Redemption basically filming um, all of it before March of next year. And now and I'm like, um, when are we going to be able to go anywhere? <laughs> so um, anyway, I hope that you're remaining safe. And um, I, I do you, I, you guys have some stay home, safer at home policies yep. there? We're all in lockdown here, um, and uh, I think I think that's the only way to be right now to keep everyone in the community safe. Yeah. So everyone's at home. Yeah, everyone's at home. Um, I come out every now and then just to, to stay in this very 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 small bubble that we've created for editorial. But there's no one here. It's like being in an office on a Sunday, right? There's nobody here. Um, but yes, yeah, so please stay safe and stay healthy and stay well and everyone out there thank you so much for joining us and stay well stay safe stay home exactly <laughs> and we will be bringing you gabriel's inferno as soon as we possibly can all right thanks so much tosca thanks Bye. everyone for